America, good afternoon in Europe, and good evening in China. Welcome our beloved clients, potential clients, agents to Dongfeng Forthing Company. We are here live in Luizhou at the exhibition center of the headquarters of Dongfeng Forthing Company. My name is Victor and I'm very happy to be your host today. We have a very beautiful and lovely co-host, Ms. Chen. Hello, Ms. Chen. Welcome, everyone. I'm Zhang Chen from Dongfeng Forthing Company. Great. Actually, her name, Chen, I also have a Chinese name, and my Chinese name is Chen Enda. So you are my little sister. In China, we say Mei Mei. So she is my little <laughs> sister here. We are very happy to be here. We are very excited. I'd like to introduce to you the Dongfeng Forthing brand, but we're going to save that for later when we're going to be in the main center. Right now, I'm very, extremely excited to show you guys the Dongfeng Forthing Friday. This is the long-awaited car that has been released. It's the first electric vehicle car provided, 100% pure electric vehicle car provided by Dongfeng Forthing. This is a very, very exciting event. This is the first pure electric vehicle provided by Dongfeng Forthing. It's going to make a huge hit, a huge wave, especially on the European market where they want to release it first. Um, European market is going to be able to enjoy this first of all. So what I would like to do is to show that we have the Dongfeng Forthing car here and we are going to unveil it today. But first I want to talk a little bit about its name. It's called the Dongfeng Forthing Friday. When they first called me and they said, hey, Victor, I want you to come present and host this event. I said, okay, that's great. What are we hosting? Oh, we're going to host Don't Think Forwarding Friday. I thought they were talking about the day. I didn't know this was the actual model car. So this is going to be one of the top hits. According to the reviews, it's long awaited, a full electric SUV provided by this amazing Chinese company, Dong Feng Forwarding. So uh, for the name, it's very interesting, right? Friday. I mean, there's a lot of names that you could have named it. We know a lot of names of cars. Why did Don't Think Fording choose to name this car Friday? The name actually means that we want our customers to enjoy the everyday as Friday. We want our customers to have the max of the freedom while feeling super comfortable so that they can have fun in our car. Oh, that is awesome. That is really, really remarkable. It's a very nice name. I'm very super excited and honored to be able to do this unveiling, to be able to show you guys this amazing car, these amazing features. The next couple of hours is going to be a lot of fun. We're going to do some test driving. We're going to show you guys the interior. We're going to show you guys the exterior. We're going to show you guys the functions of the car. We're going to show you guys the whole package, what this car has to offer. So I'm really, really excited to show this, uh, this car and present this car to you. I'm from Michigan, so my hometown is Michigan. Actually, my father has been in the automotive industry for the past 20 years. My little brother has also been in the automotive industry for the last 20 years. We know that's the hub of the automotive industry in America. So for me, this is very exciting to be able to present this car. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. I also want to remind you guys, it's very important, at the top of your phones or at the top of whatever device that you're using, please click follow for us. If you want to see more hip news that's happening with Don't Think Forwarding Company, this automotive company, I want you guys to press follow now. Click the follow button at the top of this page, and in the future, you'll be able to get alerts, and you'll be able to check out uh, what Don't Think Forwarding has to offer. In the bottom of the page, you can you look at the checkout product bag. You can click that and check out the Don't Think Forwarding Friday. If you would like to see other products that are provided to you by Don't Think Forwarding, you can press the catalog button, which is in the center at the bottom. And any questions, concerns, we have an amazing customer service center right now. They are sitting around live, waiting for your questions, waiting to answer your questions, any type of questions. If you're interested in wanting to see something or if you're interested in wanting to uh, get one of these Fridays, you can contact our customer service. Okay, no more waiting. I've been stalling for long enough. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Yes. Ah! Okay, here we go. We're going to unveil the car. Okay. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. One. Go, 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 go! Wow! Look at that! Woohoo! She is amazing, guys. Absolutely amazing. Look at this futuristic car. It is just remarkable. When I look at the front grill, it is just amazing. When we look at the lights, the concept of these lights, it's got a metallic look to it. What color is this? Chen, what color is this over here? 
This is pearl white. This is the pearl white. You guys can see this amazing finish, this amazing gloss on the car. It's uh, got an architectural look to it. I know they have spent a lot of time, a lot of effort, blood, sweat, and tears to design this car. So they made it look very, very nice. Um, it has a concept that's called Fengdong Mechanics. Fengdong Mechanics is uh, very interesting because um, but we're going to let our other partner talk about this in a little bit. But Fendo Mechanics is sort of like the whole concept of this car. So it looks amazing, absolutely amazing. We can see the logo on the front over here. It looks really nice. We have some more information about this logo in just a minute. We're going to explain the history of this logo, the history of this car, what the designers were looking at. We can see the amazing headlights over here. Just the slick, look how slick that is. That is so nice. It's got some nice curvature to it. Um, it's just beautiful. If we go ahead and look on the side a little bit, the exclusive body kit, the shape of the body kit is actually very, very nice. Here above the wheel, we have these 19 inch, 19 inch, these are huge. Huge 19 inch, actually they have 18 and 19 inches that will suit your aesthetic preferences. Whichever style that you like, you can always customize this. We have this sleek design on the car over here. If we look at the real Vero side mirror, this is the side mirror here. The side mirror comes with an excellent uh, camera that's on the side. So this is gonna help you when parking. This is gonna help you when uh, backing up. This is gonna help you when you open the door. This is absolutely, absolutely amazing. Um, we can take a look at these things here. All right, it's very good. So I think the most important thing uh, is that this is the first pure electric SUV. Is that right, Ms. Chen? Yes. All right, come on over here and join me. So this is the first pure, pure, 100% electric SUV. Doesn't cause any emissions, doesn't hurt the environment. It's an amazing, amazing car. Tell us about this first pure electric SUV. Yes, so Fourth and Friday is the first pure electric SUV from Dongfeng Furthing Company. And the product positioning is high quality, high tech, and battery electric vehicle, vehicle SUV, which has fun, extrinsic feature, long endurance, high technology, and security. Oh, that is awesome. So it's got the whole package in here. The whole package is included in this amazing, brand new, first time showing pure electric SUV from Dongfeng Forthing. So I also want to mention um, about the design style. The design style's name is Fendong Mechanics. Fendong Mechanics is something a little bit special. Um, I didn't really understand it at the beginning. So what we've done is we've called. We're actually in the design room right now. We can't show everything around here because it's top secret. But we've called one of the designers. Um, one of the, the designers, Lucida. She's gonna come talk to us a little bit more about this car. And I'd like to introduce to you guys, Miss Lucida. Miss Lucida, can you please come on over here? Yeah, I'm coming. <laughs> awesome. Hi, <laughs> this is Miss Lucida. Miss Lucida is one of the designers of the Dongfeng Fording uh, Friday car. And I would like to ask her a couple of questions. So, what were the designers thinking? What was on their mind when they designed the actual shape. I want to know about the shape of this car. Okay. Well, you know, our societies are moving forward rapidly. So we defined feng, feng Dong Mechanics as our mantra to stay ahead. And because Feng Dong Mechanics is closely related to the crowd, especially the young generations, the design philosophy itself also possesses such a characteristic of new modern and fashion. In addition, Fondo Mechanics also sets a new standard of dynamics and quality for our target group. We wanted to show strength and confidence, and the lion represents all of this. Now let's take a look at the front face. It focuses on displaying our design philosophy, Fondo Mechanics. The large grill is like a rolling lion's opening mouth. The whole spirit is like a lion whose eyes, you know, the headlights are focusing on its prey and ready to make a swift assault. The front face's force radiates through the whole body as it develops into the shoulder. Its waistline is muscular, just like a running lion while on a fast pursuit. So it gives me the feeling of being motivated, positive, and not afraid to move forward, just like our young generations. Wow, she said the key word, young generations. So, 
When I hear this, I sort of understand you guys had a target group that you were trying to reach. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little bit more about what this target group is? Can you be a little bit more specific about this target group? Why did you choose this target group? What is this target group? Yes, of course, we do have a target group. You know, with this kind of fashion shape, we'd love the young people to like our car. The Feng Dong mechanics mixed with Mixed with, <laughs> okay, the Feng Dong mechanics mixed with the wild lions is perfect for those customers who enjoy outdoor activities and love to adventure, just like our young generations in their 20s and 30s. And also, it greatly represents their fashion sense towards the car. Victor? As soon as I saw this car, I fell in love. I gotta say. It is a very amazing car, the slickness of it. It does give it the nice young vibe to it. I'm sure it flies through traffic. Um, we're gonna get to test that a little bit later. I can't wait. Um, so it, this really, the slickness of this car, really I just, I, I enjoy it so much. The body type of it, how it looks, um, just its roaring lion face. If we look at that, it does have a lion texture to it with its eyes and its prowling grill. I really, really like that. I want to remind you guys one more time, please. If you guys like Don't Think Fording, if you want to find out more about Don't Think Fording, if Don't Think Fording is on your list, please follow us at the top. Even if it's not on your list, make it on your list. This is one of the top companies coming up in China. This is one of the top companies that have been around for over 60 years. These guys know what they're doing. They started off at a very strong rate, and now they're providing very excellent cars. So please press the follow button at the top. Click follow, and then you can start to follow Don't Think Fording and see anything that is going on with them live. At the bottom, you also have the checkout product bag. I want you to press the checkout product bag. If you have any questions, if you have any concerns, if you have any type of ideas or anything that you want to discuss um, about this vehicle, you can go ahead and press that checkout product bag, and then you can go ahead and send an inquiry or chat now. Now, in the center, there is also a catalog button. You can press the catalog button and see what else does Dongfeng Fording offer. Today is mainly specific, specific about the Dongfeng Fording Friday. So the car, its name is Friday. We really want to just talk about the car. This is what we're focusing on today. But they do offer a wide range of cars, and I would like you guys to check them out. Go ahead and press the catalog button at the bottom and see. And don't forget to press the follow button, right? Follow, 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 follow. All right, cool stuff. I want us to continue to go inside the car. You guys ready? Let's go inside and check out this amazing vehicle. First, I want to start off. They handed me the key. They trusted me. Here we go. This is an amazing sleek look right here. This is the key that it starts off with right there. So the key, you press it twice at the bottom and it'll open the trunk. Unlock and lock. It is a, it's keyless. It's actually very slick. You can attach any uh, keychain type to it. It does have the valet key that comes out from here. The valet key comes out. So come on over here and follow me. We're gonna talk about some of the interior design features. We can take a look. Again, we want to take a look at the side of the car. It looks very, very nice. Actually, Hi. this is the spot in case you ever, this is something that's really interesting to know. A lot of people, they don't know. But in case you ever lock yourself out of the car or something happens, you can't get in. You can get into this car manually. You can take out the valet key here on the side. You press the valet key and then you take it out on the side. All right, very good. And with the valet key, this opens and you can put the valet key inside of this keyhole. And then you can manually open the car in case there's ever a shortage, in case anything ever happens, you need to get in the car right away. The battery isn't working or something, you can put the valet key here and open it up. Nice, sleek design. We're going to open it up. As soon as we get in, we can see this amazing, amazing design of the chairs. The chairs, the seats look absolutely cool. They are sports style seats. And now guys, this is one of, one of my favorite selling points of this car. This is a massage chair. So you can press this button here and then the massage will start to oh, massage your chair inside. The back, uh, the seat itself, it can do heating, it can do cooling. It's got different functions that, let's say you want more back pressure. You press this and you can see that the back inflates here. You can press up and you see here that the chair actually inflates here. Or you can go back down, then it deflates. Whatever that your needs are, then those, those are the most, uh, you can just apply that to whichever, whatever you like. You can press here, this is automatic chairs. You can go forward with it. 
As we can see, we can also go backwards with it. Very good. You can also lean and incline back if you want to rest. If you're a big guy like me, you're going to want to have more space. All right, very cool. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the car. There we go. Oh. There's someone calling. All right, very good. So we can see here that this is an amazing sleek handle. As we can see at the bottom over here, that this is a very, very nice sports style. This attracts a uh, majority of the younger people. This is an amazing, amazing, amazing style for it. It's easy, it's fully leather, it's very comfortable to hold. Um, as we look over here, we also have, on the left side, we can adjust up and down. Now, I'm a pretty big guy, so, so it doesn't, and you can go inside and out, so that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. We can go inside, up, or down, or whichever way you like. There we go. I'm going to adjust it to my lever. There's the lever here, and we can press this lever here. All right, very cool. We have many, 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 many steering wheel features that are, that are here, that all of them apply to the computer of the car. It is very, very amazing. Please, Ms. Chen, we have Ms. Chen over here as yes. well. Please tell us more about uh, some of the functions that you've noticed in here that you like. We can see the crystal shift handle. It's so beautiful. Look at yeah. that, that is really nice. We can see the sleek design of this crystal shape, shape handle right here. Actually looks very, very nice. It's actually very easy to, uh, uh, to maneuver. Um, as we can see, we'll put, the, we'll put the brake down and we can put it in neutral, we can put it in drive. It's very, very simple to move. Uh, video connection. All right. All right, we see we have a live video caller. Hello, sir. Yes, we can hear you loud and clear. How are you? Yes, sir, we can hear you. What are the criteria for to become a car, car dealer? Did I hear that correctly? Okay, criteria of the car dealership, you would have to discuss more with our customer service department and they'll be able to tell you. So we have been certified to sell in Europe. Now we are certified to sell in Europe through dealerships. So if you are located in Europe, which country are you located in right now? Which country are you in? In Germany. In Germany, awesome, that's great. Actually, Germany, Germany, uh, it's on the top of the list so in Germany uh, we have been authorized to sell um, to become a dealer you would have to contact our customer service they will ask for your credentials uh, but we do have the certifications to be able to sell in Germany Europe is the first first I was gonna save that to later but Europe is the first first place where we're going to launch so I think that is very exciting it's a great opportunity to get this amazing car in Europe All right, thank you. Do you have any other questions? One, one, one more last question I have. How can I get this inside 300 Can I get this inside 300 Can I get this inside 300 How can you get... How, I'm sorry, how can you get 300 k I'm sorry. Can you repeat that one more time? Uh, the incentive program. The incentive program um, is available to dealerships. Um, you would have to contact, again, customer service. They would first check your credentials. After they check the credentials to see, we have an authorized list. Um, from this authorized list of, of dealerships, then we'll be able to um, sign a contract. Obviously, the company can sign a contract with you. And then uh, you can also receive any type of incentive programs. You apply for the incentive uh, program and then usually get approved as long as you meet all the different requirements that are on the, the list that the customer service will be able to provide.
Yeah, all right. Or you can come over here to Luizo. All right, cool. That was our first caller. That is awesome. Let's see some of the other options. Ms. Chen, can we see some of the other options? What else do you notice here that you like uh, a lot about this car? Yes, about the sports seat. I just, oh, yes, yeah. I like it so much. We can show. Cameraman, if you can back up a little bit, you can see here the back of the sports seat. It's here. This is breathable for your back, so you don't. when you sweat, you can have some air here. Actually, it's a very, very strong, sleek design. We can see that it's very comfortable. Actually, I'm very comfortable. I like to drive long distances. Actually, I've driven from from Michigan to Miami multiple times. I've even driven throughout Europe, all throughout Europe. So for me, it's very important to have a soft, comfortable seat. Um, and what I really like about it is that I do have the massage feature here. Yes. So if I press the massage feature, that's pretty cool. We also have cooling seats and we also have heated seats. So these seats are actually the slick design of it. We can see the colors that they've chosen in here. We okay. can see the stitching. This green is very, very, this neon green is very, actually very, very elegant and very, very nice. This back here, it's also very nice. You know, you always have, this is a very kid-friendly car as well. We are, we did design this for teens or for uh, young adults, um, but this is actually a very child-friendly car as well because this is plastic here. This plastic here, if anybody puts their uh, shoes or puts their feet on it it won't scuff up uh, any of the leather so it's actually very perfect uh, uh, protective and uh, it's very useful very uh, very very useful uh, especially I'm, I'm a man that I have two children at home as well so I know what it's like the kids get inside the car they start to throw things they kick and scream um, you won't have to worry about your car getting hurt scratched up uh, or getting beaten up all right I want to take a look at some of the some of the different uh, um, aspects that this car offers. It has a 2.5 air purification system. So what does that mean? What does that mean? Outside, so this car, because it gets sealed off, um, you could either have air filtering in the car, obviously, or you can have air filtering from outside, right? Um, but it does have a purification system. So 2.5, it's actually uh, very healthy to, to stay in the car. You can turn on this air purification system. And then when you are driving through places that are um, maybe a little bit more polluted, maybe have smog or maybe there's a lot of dust, you're driving some places, it will keep the air nice and pure for you. And I think that's really, really important that the air should be pure. So inside of the car, if you have kids, if you're going out with friends, you want to have that crisp, clean uh, smell in your car. And this is what this car is going to offer with the air purification system of 2.5. So we can open up over here as well. As we can see, here is a USB drive. Some of our other uh, models also have a type C fast charging drive, which is really, really amazing. That's yes. really cool. I like this little storage area right here. This little storage area is very nice. Usually when I come in, I like to put my phone. I like to put either the keys. Here we go. We got the keys. We can put the keys in there, right? Or anything else, your documents. Let's say you're traveling with your passport. You can just put your keys and stuff in there. So that's pretty, that's actually really, really cool. I like that a lot. Um, we can close this over here and this closes. I want us to take a look at this function. So a lot of cars really disappoint me usually when it comes to this part, this, comp this compartment where I can store things. So we press this button and look how nicely that just opens, right? And it's a nice storage spot here. It has a 220 volt discharge function that's inside. So if you want to charge your laptop, you want to charge things uh, uh, from your car, you can definitely do that inside of here. Uh, we can see that it's a nice, it's actually very sturdy. I can, I can pull on it, I can hold it. Usually they're very, very flimsy, but this one is just very solid. We can see that it opens up so perfectly. And this is leather as well. This is a nice, sleek, sleek, sleek leather over here. This is really cool. You can close one of them, you can open up the other one. This is actually very, very cool. Okay, we can go out in here. I really like this, Ms. Chen, uh, this design here of this yeah, crystal this handle. Crystal. This is something, what do you think about that? Lion inside it. Oh, I don't know if the camera can get it. So there is, there is a lion. There is a lion hologram inside of this crystal. I think that's a nice touch that designers have placed. Um, really, really cool, sleek touch. Um, we can see that it has a one touch start button. We can press the one start uh, and it will start the car and press it and it will also stop the car, um, which is pretty cool. This button right here is an auto uh, parking brake. So we can see this is the auto parking brake. And then this other one over here, if we press that when we are driving, what this will do is that if you're stopped, you can let go of your uh, brake and it will stay in parking. 
but then you, you can leave it in drive and then just press the accelerator and the car will continue to go. We're going to check out that feature in a little bit. Um, this is the manual uh, parking brake here. This is the manual parking brake here. You press this button and then it will stay parked until you press it again and then you put it in drive and then you can also drive off with it. Um, I think this design, this is a nice sleek design. We see here this dashboard. What do you think about this dashboard, Miss Chen? Yes, I think this rectangle shape is very beautiful so that I can see most of the function. Uh, they're clearly right. All right, very okay. good. So we can see here home. Um, we have all of the different functions here. You can use it to call. You can use it to uh, hear music. music. Yeah, what, yeah. Uh, I think this one is the GPS locator. Um, audio. Yeah, there, oh, the audio sound, very good. Um, the different settings on it, your battery life. Very, very nice. Over here is the odometer. So this is the new concept here. This is the concept vehicle, actually. It's already got a couple thousand. Someone's been playing around with it quite a lot. Um, here we go. This is the nice, sleek design here. We'll be able to see the accelerator. It's got a few different modes. If I change the driving mode, we have normal mode. We have sport mode, right? And then we also have eco mode. So that's pretty cool. I can't wait for him to try this mode, sport mode. I, I like speed. I like fast cars. So I, I like the design of this car. And I think this is going to be a nice, fast car to be able to drive around town and to get through traffic. And then you also have an eco mode. Now, the eco mode will help you to save as much energy as possible. So the accelerator might not be as strong, but the battery will last a lot longer. And I think that's what's really cool. And then if you're just, uh, I mean, if you have a full battery, you just want to drive it normally, you do have normal mode as well. So we can see here some of the different functions on the steering wheel. The steering wheel itself is really slick. Cameraman, if we can get over here and see that. I really like this sports car style, right? Yeah. If I want to feel like, you know, actually you can take this car to the track as well. Most mm -hmm. places, I mean, you can take it to the Autobahn. We hired our friend from Germany call in. Um, if you take this on the Autobahn, this is gonna, this is gonna put up a fight, guys. It's the Fording Friday Lion, they call it. The RAR, the Lion. We can see over here some of the different features and options. This is the camera button. So the camera button will be able to turn on uh, the camera in the back and you can see the different camera features. Cameraman, you can go ahead and show that here. This will show you a 2D model of it. Then they also have a 3D model showing you all around of the car. This is pretty cool, guys. You can see what's going on around the car. It will warn you it is ha if it's hazardous or what's going on. Um, you have the side view mirror. If you're trying to park your car, if you want to parallel park. Now, I'm pretty good at parallel parking. Um, my wife, on the other hand, um, is learning, we'll put it that way. So this is going to help her to be able to parallel park a, a little bit easier. We can see here on the sides, the, the, the cameras. Actually, let me close this door and we can also see. There we go. So we can see on the side of the car, both sides of the car. When I'm coming up to the margin of of the curb or something, I'll be able to check out the margin on this side. This is a really pretty cool feature. I really like this. Um, we can see I do have my back door open over here, so it shows me. If you're with kids, this is always op awesome to be able to see. Uh, the camera will show you right away what's going on. And then we do also have the side view mirror. So that's pretty cool. This is about the side, uh, the mirrors on the side, and the cameras on the side. Those are the cameras on the... Door. On the doors, yes. Those are the cameras on the doors. Okay, over here, we have a messenger button, right? So if we press the messenger button, it will show up some messages. This will show you a couple of the different features that are inside of the, the car. You can set and reset uh, the mileage. For example, if you're going on a trip, you can go ahead and do that right here. Um, we have just uh, uh, just uh, very many uh, features here that we see. Um, the sleek design of the steering wheel is very nice. It's very durable. I'm a guy, sometimes when I drive, I drive and I clench my uh, steering wheel and sometimes and I like this because my hands don't get sweaty um, because it's real leather it doesn't wear off easily you know sometimes they just wear off way too easily and this is really nice um, being that I'm a bigger guy so I'm pretty big I'm 1.8 meters tall right and uh, I'm about 110 kilograms so I'm a pretty big guy and me as a big guy here let's show the camera over here let's let's hold that for a second me as a big guy I'm comfortable in this right um, I'm, I'm very comfortable in this this feels very, very nice. Um, and, and as a big guy, we can see that I have a lot of headroom here. Uh, like I said, I'm 1.8 meters tall so uh, and, and 110 kilograms. So I'm, I'm pretty big. And I have room. I'm very comfortable. I can, I can drive for long distances. Um, nice support here with the vehicle. It's actually very, very cool. Um, you can change the music here. You can change the volume up, volume down button. Then you also have different features if you want to go ahead and 
And uh, the GPS actually comes up. Cameraman, if you can show this, this is really cool. This is the GPS. Most times, you also have the GPS here, but this is the GPS that's showing you. You don't have to turn your head on the right. You can just look here, and there is the GPS that shows you where even we are right now. So that's just pretty cool. Then this is the odometer, the speedometer, right? The speedometer is here. The odometer is there at the bottom. Uh, this shows you if any of your doors are closed or open. So we can see that my back door is open, and we can see that my passenger does have her seatbelt off. But that's okay because we're not driving right now. <laughs> um, this is great. It shows you. This is another pretty cool thing. It shows you that there are two passengers inside of here. So it, it feels our weight and it shows us there there are two passengers in the front. That's mm -hmm. pretty cool. Okay. We can look over there this way. Okay. We have very many different options over there as well. Cool. So we've touched on the massage chairs. You like yes. the massage chairs? Yeah, I think that's it's so comfortable. Yeah. I think that's so amazing. Um, not a lot of car, I haven't seen a lot of cars mm -hmm. come, especially for the price of this car. I haven't seen a lot of cars come with this kind of thing. So this is pretty cool. Um, it's got the heating seats. It's got the cooling seats, guys. It's got uh, the electronic automatic adjustment. So you can go forward, backward. It's really, really nice. Um, I think this is a great, great, uh, great, great buy, guys. This is the newest thing. Cameraman, let's go outside. Let's go check out some some of the other features. Let's go look around. All right, you guys. So I did want to remind you guys, if you guys are following us right now, if you're watching us right now, and you want to find out more about Don't Think Forthing, please, please press the follow button at the top of your page. If you guys would like to check out more details in detail about this car, Don't Think Forthing Friday, please press at the bottom, check out the product bag. So this is the product. The product's name is Friday. Don't Think Forthing Friday. This is the launch of the first fully, fully, 100% electric vehicle provided to you by Don't Think Forthing. And um, as our caller spoiled it a little bit just a minute ago, we do want to launch first in Europe. This is where we have been certified by the European Union to be able to launch this car. So right now, dealers, dealers, listen up, guys. We are looking for dealers, dealerships that want to offer this car. Please do contact us. We'll be able to, get, we'll be able to uh, uh, get your certification inside there with our company, and then we'll be able to start launching our car in your dealership. Be one of the first ones to, uh, uh, to have this car in your dealership. Watch it be with such a hot seller. So if you guys also want to check out our catalog, we, in the middle and the center is the product catalog. I want you guys to press the catalog button and you can see all of the different uh, other cars that Don't Think Forthing has to offer. All right, very good. So um, let's, let's talk a little bit more about colors, okay? okay. What kind of, Miss Chen, what kind of colors does this amazing car come in? We had pearl white, tech green, and feature black. And wow, that is amazing. That is cool. Yes. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about the tires? I'm a tires guy. Tell me about the tires. Okay, here is uh, Oh, okay, connection. cool. All right, hello, how you guys doing? We have a caller. Yes. Yes, do we have a question? Can you hear me now? Yes, what is your question? I'm sorry? Hi there, can you hear us? Mike? Yes, we can hear you loud and clear. You guys are in Germany? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, what we're doing is we're just filming for a social media video. So what we're going to do is talk you through it, but we're going to have filming. We just need to get our microphones ready and that good stuff. So we'll get back to you in just a minute. We're just sorting that out. Okay, no problem. Give us a call back. We're going to talk a little bit more about the features of the car. Stay tuned, you guys. Thank you very much, you guys. Take care. All right, great. So they're going to call us back. They have some other questions lined up for us. I do want to talk a little bit more about the tires of this vehicle. Ms. Chen, tell us about the tires of this vehicle. What options do we have for tires? 
235-55 R19 sports tires. All right, so that's 235-55 R19 sports tires. If you know anything about tires, these are very nice tires. They're fast, they're sleek, they're going to last you a long time, and you can get a lot of speed in these cars. All right, let's talk about the battery. What kind of battery does this amazing car have? We use ternary lithium battery. All right, very good. So ternary lithium battery. Okay. Now, I think this is one of the most important questions when we're talking about electric vehicles. Let's be honest. How fast does this car charge? Da -da -da. Our fast charge only takes 45 minutes. What? 40, how much? 45 minutes. You guys, 45 minutes and this car is fully charged. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe it's just a trick question. You know, sometimes you got to be careful. 45 minutes, all right? But how long does this 45, how long does this fully charge last? It's slow charge will take 15 hours. 15 hours. And how many mileage will I get with this? How many, how many kilometers will I get? Kilometers? Yes. Uh, how many kilometers will I get with this? Uh, maybe like... 600 kilometers. You guys, 600 kilometers. That is, a, that is quite a distance that you can travel with one charge. 45 minute, one charge. That is quite amazing. It's equipped with a driving motor with the maximum power of 150,000 kilowatts. According to the mileage test that we did later, this is the latest news about the Dorfing Friday. So we have compared. So the previous model was the S50 EV. And the S50 EV on a global questionnaire came out to be that the Ford Friday is going to wipe it out. Not only in sales, but also in the ratings. The ratings and the review of this car is just absolutely amazing for the Dorfing Friday. We want to start, we, like we said, we want to launch this first in the European market. So Dorfing Friday company here in Luizhou, Louis, Louisville, China, wants to launch it first in the European market. Um, so I do want to do some side-by-side -side comparison with the previous electric vehicle that's called the S50 EV. So the S50 EV is a little bit longer. This is a tad bit shorter, but much a little bit wider and taller. So uh, the Ford thing Friday, the Friday is not only taller, but also wider. Um, let's talk about the max speed. Uh, Ms. Chen, what is the max speed of the S50 versus the Friday? The max speed of the S50 EV just uh, is 150 kilometers per hour. And what about the Friday? Friday? Friday's max speed is 180 kilometers per hour. 180 kilometers per hour. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a fully electric vehicle. Can you imagine that? 180 kilometers an hour. This is the era we're living in. We're living in 2022 where we're coming out with cars that are going 180 kilometers an hour, 45 minute charge, 600 kilometers in one drive. What more do you want? What more, really? What more do you want? It's an amazing car. Really amazing vehicle. How about uh, comparison mileage with uh, the S50 EV compared to the Friday? The S50 EV's mileage is 415 kilometers, but the Friday SUV's mileage is 600 kilometers. Wow, so it beats, it beats the S50 EV, our previous model, by 100, 185 kilometers more per charge. Um, the electricity consumption of the S50 EV per 100 kilometers is 12.8 kilowatt hours um, 100 kilo per 100 kilometers. So that comes out to roughly about $1.74 for every 100 kilometers. This is the old model. Now, now, check this out. Not only does the Friday, not only is it more high tech, not only is it taller, not only is it faster, not only does it charge fast, not only does it last long, it actually lasts. Electric consumption per 100 kilometers is 14.32 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. That comes out to $2 per 100 kilometers. Guys, $2 for 100 kilometers. Can you imagine that? That is, that is, it's $12 for a full charge to drive. That is extremely, extremely cheap. That is revolutionary cheap. $12, can you believe that? $2 per 100 kilometers. And this full of full charge has 600 kilometers. I think that uh, it just speaks for itself. It has great features. 
It has great functions. It has great technical support. It has great customer service. Um, it has a warranty on it. I think it just has so many different options and features. Uh, not only is it more spacious, not only is it more fashionable. I mean, look at this. Look how nice it looks. Let's take a look. Look at this really, really nice, amazing, sleek grill. Cameron, if we can get over here on the grill. The grill is really, I really like the grill of it. The nice, amazing logo on top. We can see it's, it's very, very nicely done. It's very professional, very sturdy, very strong. It's very, very beautiful. Um, we can see over here the nice, sleek, lion-looking lights. All right, it's very good. And the Friday has definitely evolved from the S50. Uh, the security-wise, it has an auto drive sensing chip. There's more to come, more details about the auto drive feature um, as it is in the making. So the auto drive feature will be available on this car. The new collision resolution, high strength steel accounts, 60% accounts for more than 60% of this vehicle and more than 90% of the key parts forming its high strength cabin skeleton. This is a very strong, sturdy car. This is, if you get in an accident, God forbid you get in an accident, this, strong, this car is very, very strong. Um, it's got 60% more mileage in the winter. When it is colder, it gets 16% more mileage in the winter. As for endurance, this car has been tested. Now, tested, rolls with potholes. I don't know where you're from, but where I'm from in Michigan, it is filled with potholes. It's been tested with potholes. It's been tested on stone roads. It's been tested on washboard roads. It's been tested on more than 10 different kinds of roads. It's done over 1 million kilometers in testing alone. That is the equivalent of 32 times around the Chinese border. They have tested this car over 1 million kilometers. These are solid facts. They have tested this a lot. In China, they are very rigorous on the type of cars that they release. They care about their, uh, their, their, their people, right? So they are testing this car to make sure that it's going to keep their people safe, to make sure that it keeps the Chinese people safe and the rest of the world safe. European market, get ready for it. They've tested it with over a million kilometers. I think that's pretty amazing. Really, I do think that's pretty amazing. Remember, guys, press the follow button at the top. If you guys see us, you're watching us right now, please do us a favor, press the follow button at the top. If you have any questions about the car, if you're a dealer and you want to start selling this car, Europe, we have the green light. Go ahead and press the bo at the bottom on the right-hand side, you can press the checkout product bag. After you press checkout product bag, you'll be able to send us a message, send inquiry or chat now. Please do this now. If you're interested, you want to find out more details, how do I become a dealer? What do I do? What are the steps? Call our customer support. They are on the line waiting for you to answer them right now as we speak. So if you also want to see any type of other uh, vehicles that we offer, please do press the catalog button at the bottom in the sensor, and you'll be able to see what, other, what else that the catalog has to offer. All right, that's very, very good. Do we have any more oncoming calls? Yes, so here is a okay. and I'll give Here we go. We can put the audio. The okay, cool. Okay. All right, cool. We, we are calling someone. All right. Okay. Good, we do have a caller. Okay. All right. All right, we do have a question. Uh, we have a question over here. Good. How much headroom is there? Uh, is it appealing to, is it appealing in the Europe market? How much headroom is there? Okay, come in, man. Let's come back over here. Let's take a look at the headroom space. Again, I'm 180. 110 kilograms, all right? Don't tell my wife I tell her I'm 100. So uh, I'm 110, because this is going to put me on a diet, okay? And it's not fun. Okay, so I'm 110 kilograms, I'm 180. You guys, I want you guys to check it out over here. Come on over here, cameraman. So as a big guy I am, the first question is, how much headroom is there? Can you guys see how much headroom I have? This is, I mean, this is just amazing. Not only there is a lot of headroom, we can also lower the seat, and we can also lift the seat up. As you can see, I am lifting it up. And even with it at its maximum, I'm still here. We can still keep going, actually. 
So if you're short, this car is also for you. There we go. This is its maximum, and I'm 180. So at 180, my hair is touching the top. So if you're short, this car is actually very perfect for you. It's a little bit high for me right now, but if I go back down, it's actually very, very good. All right, and let's take a look at the environment in the back seat, guys. Come on, let's take a look at the back seat. So in the back seat, we can see that cameraman, you can go ahead and go inside. We can take a look here. That three people fit comfortably inside of here. We can see that three people fit comfortably in this environment. As we can see, the nice farthing stitching. It's actually very nice, very comfortable, very sleek. We have the seat belts over here. We have this nice stitching here, this green stitching. This is actually very, very beautiful and very comfortable. It's very, very soft. It looks very, very nice. So this is one of the nice, nice uh, back seats. You can fit three people comfortably, three adults. Let me sit inside of it. Let me check it out, all right? I'm gonna sit inside of it. Check it out, guys. So remember, I'm 180, right? I'm 180, look at that. So if I really wanna sit extremely comfortable, all right, you can fit about one and two and a half, two and a half guys of me, all right, inside of here. I'm gonna sit comfortably. Cameraman, you can show it here, I'm sitting comfortably, right? So you can fit another guy like me and probably a child inside of here. It is actually very spacious. I really like the space of, uh, of, uh, uh, of this car that it has to offer. All right, let's go ahead and go back outside. All right, cool. Very easy to get out of. The door is very big, as we can see. Look, I'm a big guy, okay? It's not easy for me to get in and out of small cars. So as a big guy, right, I can go in, and I'm actually forcing it, right? I'm pretty big, I can get out quite easily. So it's actually very spacious, you guys. I wanna show you guys something else. We have another question here. The outdoor, uh, the outdoor economy has recovered. Our company is very interested in outdoor SUVs. How about the loading capacity of the roof and trunk? Guys, this is an amazing question. Way to go. Very, one of the most important questions I think of the night. Let's check out the, the trunk. So, we also have, oh, the key's inside. The key does have the function to open, but I can open it here. Nice, sleek design, it does open here. So we can see how nice and wonderfully it's opened. We can take a look. It goes all the way up. Look at that, guys. Look how big that is. The trunk space is just remarkable. We can see over here it has the trunk closing button. We close it, and the trunk will go down by itself. No more having to pull that thing down. Mommy's with strollers. If you're carrying grocery bags, just press the button, and it goes all the way down. We can press here one more time. All right, very good. All right, and we can also see what is the space. You guys, we're going to do something a little bit unorthodox. Let's get my fat butt inside of here. Woohoo! All right. So, what do you guys think about the space of this car? I'm a pretty big guy, all right? I'm a, I'm, I'm a pretty big guy. And if I can fit into this trunk, you guys can fit, you guys can fit quite a lot of load inside of this trunk. Remember, don't thank Fording. We're in Luizhou, China. This is the first launching of the first electric SUV called the Don't Thank Fording. The car's name is Friday. I want you guys to press the follow button at the top follow us. I also want you guys to check out the car. Dealers, if you guys want to start selling this car in, uh, in Europe, we are authorized to sell this car in Europe. I would like you guys to go ahead and add us there. Let me get my fat butt out of this car. All right, very good. So we can see that you can put, actually you can put probably one, two, three, four full-size luggages in here. All right, so it's quite, quite a big amount. We do have a caller. Caller, can you guys hear me? Can you hear me now? Yeah, go ahead. Yes, go ahead. Yes, I can hear you. You're live. Hi, how you doing? It's uh, Tom here. How are you? What's up, Tom? I'm doing all right, man. How you doing? Pretty good. Pretty enjoyed the car repairing. Tom, uh, I can't hear you. Can you guys adjust your microphone? I heard I enjoy the car, but then I can't hear the rest. Can you hear me now, Tom? Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, I hear you now perfectly. Uh, in which 
Just sold out the mic, so give me a second. And I'll, uh... I hear you. I hear you loud and clear, Tom. Okay, we just sold out the microphone. So... No problem. You guys in Germany, Tom? Sure, no problem. We're talking on the other side of the world, so it's understandable. Some glitches can happen. I can hear you pretty loud and clear now. No, it's for us to record the sound. The video helps. All right. I do want to uh, remind you guys, Tom, I'm still here. I'm waiting for you. When you're ready, you just let me know, okay? All right. I do want to... Re Sorry? Sure, sure, no problem. I do want to remind you guys that this fast charging, so it does have two options. Let's come on over here. Let's show them. It does have two options for fast charging and slow charging. We can open up the charging hub here. As you can see, it clicks, all right? Right here, no need to unlock it. It just clicks. All right, very good. Now it's got the fast charging port and also got the large charging port here. Now the fast charging port, remember guys, it's 45 minutes for a full charge. 45 minutes, 45 minutes. Do you know how much 600 kilometers costs to charge? It's $2 per 100 kilometers. It costs you 12 bucks, $12. You spend more than that, on, on dinner and this gets you 600 kilometers for 12 bucks right 12 bucks 600 kilometers and it charges in 45 minutes if you guys are on a road trip I love road trips all right I've like I said I've traveled all of Europe I've traveled all of America I've traveled half of China to be honest with you my wife and I love traveling um, to have 600 kilometers in a full charge it's quite phenomenal right it's quite phenomenal to have 600 kilometers in a full charge all right Tom you ready there Uh, man, I'm born ready, Tom. No, you were good. <laughs> now you disappeared, Tom. <laughs> they took you out of my angle, Tom. All right, right there, right there. That's good. Uh, so the height of the car is 1.7 uh, meters. We can see it's 1.7 meters. I'm 1.8 meters. The height of the car is 1.7 meters. Uh, yeah, six foot long. Uh, let me give you the exact. Uh, let me give you the exact length of it here. The length of it uh, is is. Uh, 460 centimeters, so 460 centimeters, 4,600 4, millimeters, so 4, 460 centimeters long. Just, 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 just over six foot, yes, sir. So it's not an extremely large vehicle. If you're looking for something in, you know, it's a compact, a compact car inside an SUV that you want to park, have find good parking spot. This is a perfect car for you. Sure. And the width of the car, since we're still on this point, is 100, uh, 186 centimeters. The width of the car is 186 centimeters. Cameraman, if you come over here, we can show them the width. So wide-wise, if you guys compare it to the old S. 50 EV provided by Dongfeng Forthing, uh, Dongfeng Forthing. This is a little bit wider than the Dongfeng Forthing uh, car from before. All right. Good. Okay, we're going to come back to you, Tom, okay? Thank you very much, Tom. All right, awesome. So next we have a very special surprise. We have a very, very special surprise. 
we want to go to, we want to meet the people responsible. And the people, the person responsible, one of the planners from Alibaba is here with me today. And I want to talk about a little bit about uh, the planning of this event, okay? The planning of this global launch. Mr. Sean, how are you doing, Mr. Sean? Great, very happy to be here. Very happy to have you, Mr. Sean. Mr. Thank Sean you, is you. from Alibaba. And I would like to ask you, Mr. Sean, just yep. that we don't, we want to keep it brief because we want to go on the road and take the car for a test drive. Uh, Mr. Sean, what has some of the details involved in creating this kind of a global event? Okay. Uh, so like you said, I participate planning the planning of the whole lunch event. I think it's very unique because uh, like normally a uh, lunch event should happen like uh, in a theater. There should be a stage and normally the brand announces its new product on the stage with some presentation. So we think that's for uh, for audience the experience is, is quite limited by time and space because as an audience, you need to take a seat over there and watch the event like a minute by minute. And because everything happens on the stage, you don't have much uh, chance to engage with the brand. You right. don't have the chance to raise questions anytime, right? So uh, what we do here today is, is very different. So we use the digital tools provided by uh, Alibaba.com to break that limit. That is awesome. Yeah, to have this unconventional lunch event. So uh, let's imagine that a uh, lunch event is formed by many different contents. For example, this live stream, right? It's one, only one piece of those contents. If you are interested in the car, you want to know more details about the car, you can stay with us, keep watching, because we are going to drive it uh, like in a couple minutes, right? Or you can jump to another live stream we prepare, uh, which is showing uh, like a continuous driving for hours to test the battery performance. Wow. Right. So, okay, if you're saying like, uh, I'm, I know enough about the car, I want to learn about the brand a little bit. Yeah. That's fine, that's great. Because there is a place to show the brand's most important certifications and capabilities. And all of those informations have been verified by a third party company. Mm. So such like SGS. Okay, so, and so SGS has certified all of uh, the information that is on the Alibaba platform. Yes, so uh, literally you can trust with those informations because it's verified by third party right. organization, right? So uh, also if you want to take a tour in the factory, it's also possible online. Oh, wow. Yeah, because... You guys can tour the factory online. Yes, you hear that? Yes. That yes. is awesome. Because we provide a tool called like a factory VR showroom, right? You can, you can, you can tour, you can uh, check their uh, production line, the workshops, and how they, uh, how they manufacture the car, like you are in the factory. Wow. Right? Okay. So, and finally, if you decide to, okay, I want to distribute this car locally. Uh -huh. Like so, dealerships. Yes, like dealerships. Local dealerships, private yes. dealerships. Yes. Private collectors. Maybe someone <laughs> who likes, yeah, there are a lot of electric vehicle collectors I know that are very enthusiastic about this car. Yes. The brand is also announcing its like uh, dealership benefits and policy here at Alibaba.com. So mm. you can gather all the information you need from this single lunch event. Wow. So all of those contents, they don't have a fixed storyline or sequence. You can, you can, as an audience, you can decide like uh, what contents to watch and where to start all by yourself, mm -hmm. right? So I think that's the unique part of this lunch event. It's like we provide all the contents. It's and, live. It's ready right there for you. Yeah. You guys, and, you guys can just tap on there, press catalog, press follow us at yes. the top, press the shopping cart at the bottom, right? You can yes. see all that things there. I want to ask you one more question. Yeah. This, we didn't rehearse for this one. We didn't yeah. even rehearse for this mini. So this is something off topic. I mean, on the topic, yeah. but if off the books. So we're in 2022. We're doing car launch events online. Everybody in the world can see what Dongfeng has been working on, what Dongfeng has been, was been creating and building. Do you think that Dongfeng is going to be one of the pioneers to influence other car companies to do live events? I think it will. I think it will. I have confidence that we are creating a new format of having a lunch event here. That is awesome. Yeah. You guys, you have it from Alibaba themselves. This is Sean from Alibaba, and he has just told us um, a lot of interesting facts about the future of car selling. The
Take care. It's wonderful to meet you. We're going to take one more question from of the course. live audience. Thank See you, you Sean. Take See care. You. We'll talk later. Hi, guys. There we go. Tom's back. Hey, Tom. <laughs> Say that again. Yeah, sure, no problem. So, the car launch was fantastic. I really enjoyed it. One of the questions that I've got is what's the headroom like in the car? I know that's really important for a lot of people. Maybe you can just tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, yeah, you said you, you asked about the power? I, I, I heard something about power, but. The headroom? The headroom? I think the car. So, I'm. No. So yeah, just no. On its maximum, on its maximum, uh, on its maximum height, my head does not touch it. I'm 180 meters tall, so 1.8 meters, and my head does not touch on the top. And I think that's very, very interesting for a car that is 1.7 meters tall. I think it's very, very spacious on the inside, but on the outside, it's very compact. I think this is the future of compact SUVs. Uh, so and I think it's very suitable. As a big guy, I'm 110 kilos. 110 kilos is not small, all right? I eat a lot of meat. So as a big guy, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm comfortable in it. And it's not, it's not just me saying that. I'm really honestly comfortable in it. I sat in it. We're going to go now and test drive it live, okay? So you're going to get to see me. Yeah, we're going to go test drive it right now, live on air. We have, uh, we have to have a couple cameras that are going to follow us. We're going to get to do a speed test. To do a comfort test, we're going to drive for about 30 minutes now. So you guys are welcome to stick around and watch me as we go in the car, and you can see more features. I'm going to show you some more features. Actually, you can ask me about more features while I'm in the car. Is that okay? All right. Thank you very much, Tom. All right, guys. Let's head over now for the test drive. I think this is going to be pretty exciting. Uh, all right. Very good. Where's the Okay, we're going to take a two-minute break so I can get outside. They already took the car out, so I want to show you guys behind the scenes, all right? They took the car out. It's gone. So it was, it's a real car. We're going to go drive the actual concept. Yeah. There's not, we're not making up anything over here. So uh, give us two minutes, and I'm going to go outside, okay? All right, thank you. All right. We, we'll, thank you, Tom. Take care, man. All right. Yeah, actually, I'm going out right now. <laughs> sure. I hear you. Okay, so the charging efficiency of the car. You take a guess. I'm curious. What do you guess? Remember, this is a 600 kilometer full. How fast do you think it charges? That's our driver right there, all right? Hello, hello. Say hello. Hi, Joe. Hello. hello. All right, introduce hello. yourself. Say hi. Hi. Hello. He is Carl. I first in my life. I also have a car in China. I also drive in China. So for me, it's actually quite exciting. I'm a little bit jealous because Carl didn't want to let me drive. It's company policy. They don't want to destroy this prototype. So uh, <laughs> I would like to drive it. Go ahead. Who we have here? Just hands up. Hi, Mommy. Nice to meet you, Mommy. So, actually, battery life increases 60% when it's cold. It actually is, it's more efficient when it's cold. So, I've spent some time throughout Europe. I've spent some time in Belgium. I've spent some time in Romania. I've spent some time. In Italy, I spent some time all over the place. And a lot of the problem when it was cold, I had problems with my starter. Now, this does have a double.
efficiency uh, in the cold. All right, thank you very much, sir. That is amazing. Look at look at how nice that is. You get the stars and you can see through it as well. But it's got this it's got this these these stars embedded inside of the rooftop. And I think that is such a cool thing. I bet I haven't seen a car that has this, honestly. So you see the sky as well, but it also have this full length panoramic view of the top. So look at that. That's all goes all the way out to the back. We have Miss Chen and the cameraman here in the back of the car with us. And we're gonna go for a ride. Here you go, Miss Chen. I'm gonna hand you the, the phone over here. Hey, All right. Phones. Safety belt. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, let's get the safety. So bye bye. We're gonna have, get the do safety you have any gone. Questions? Yes. Okay. Uh, I do have some questions. Okay, sure. Yeah. So. Go ahead. The safety features on it. So this comes with a six airbag uh, uh, feature on it. We can see here we have one airbag here in the front, one airbag here, one airbag up here, one airbag up here, one in the back. So um, safety wise, it has passed all. Million kilometers. That's 32. That's 32 times around China. They have tested the living crap out of this car. <laughs> they don't want to have any lawsuits. They don't want to have any problems. So they've tested this car quite a lot. A million kilometers is not a joke. 32 times around China. You can you can look you can look on the map. It's pretty big. It's very very. It's, uh, definitely a good bang for your buck. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, uh, now that is a nice question. Okay, so we are. Okay, my cameraman is uh, uh, live testing. So while we're driving, it does reach a maximum of a hundred. Uh, very unique. Yeah, for an <laughs> most places it's unless you're on the autobahn. I've driven half of China, so that's if you're lucky. So 180 to offer this. I think it's a has long high. Highway, it's very, very maybe about four times. Five minutes and continue on your way with 600 kilometers per charge. $12 per charge. I mean, how much cheaper can you get? How big is the trunk? The boots of the car? The, the trunk of the okay, so trunk wise, remember that the width of the car itself, let me go back over here on my, I want to give you the exact spef specifications of it. Go ahead. Yeah. What is the size of the Yeah. The size of the trunk of the car is 160, uh, 168 centimeters wide. All right. So 160, 160 centimeters wide. It actually very, very it's quite a, quite a large, quite, quite, quite large uh, width wise. Um, heights wise, it's, uh, that's width wise. Heights wise is 90 centimeters high. 
So it's actually quite quite large, quite large of a, of, of a space that you have there in the trunk. As we saw, it fits four full-size luggages. If I put four full-size luggages in there, I think that's very good. For a compact SUV, um, you can fit quite a lot of things in there. So. Okay, sounds good. Thank you very much, Tom. Thank you very much. Take care, you guys. God bless you guys. Take care. Awesome to hear from you guys. Take care. You guys have fun over there. Bye. See you. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. All right, that's awesome. So I wanted to take a look at some of the some of the features over here. So cameraman, if we can please show here we have drive mode. So I'm gonna let my driver know, I'm gonna change some of the modes, but don't worry, it's not gonna affect your driving. So while my driver is still driving, Carl, we can see here that we press the drive and now it just went into sports mode. When sports mode, it's got like this eager, eager kick to it. You wanna, you wanna punch it a little bit, Carl? We can show a little bit of a punch to it. Mm, uh, we will do it later, you will see, okay. you will see it. Okay, cool. So we also have eco mode. Eco mode, you can tell. Eco mode, I just you just press this button right here, and eco mode does does uh, does go into uh, economic mode, which is saving battery as much as possible. All right, very good. So tell me about uh, tell me about the features that you like about the the car, Carl. Any special experiences that touches you? Right, of course, because it's an electrical electrical car. You cannot hear any noise in the. In, in this one. Wow, that is true. Look at that. We can't, you guys, it is here in China right now. It's 920 and there's not many cars here in Luizhou in this part of town, but you can't hear anything. Yeah. That is absolutely amazing. You don't hear any sounds, any diesel engines or anything like that. This is a pure electric car. What else do you like about this? Mm, the sports mode. We will do it. We will do it about two minutes later. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm really excited to see about the sports mode. So economic. Right now, it's in economic mode. In economic mode, it's st it's still fast. It just doesn't have that. Mm, it doesn't have that kick of the lion. Yeah. And I think that's. Uh, I think that's fine. If you're trying to save. Uh, if you're trying to save on the uh, on the battery life. Uh, we also see here that we have. We can turn on the lights. Right, this is interior lights. All oh, right, now we have them on all the way. So this also closes, guys. Camera, you can show them. You can show the top. Okay, yeah, very good. You can see that it does close all the way. If you do not want to see those lights at the top, all right. If you do want to enjoy it, you can just open it up all the way, and you can't see it through. You, this is see-through. These little lights, I don't know how they did that. This is, this is really quite interesting for me. I have never, I'm going to be honest, I've never seen this where the Stars. lights are integrated inside of this. This is actually quite interesting. You don't see any electrical grid like that, and the stars are very, very nice. Actually, the design and the concept is something quite new. I haven't, I really haven't seen something like this. It looks really, really nice. For, 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 this, for this type of electric vehicle, I think that is very, very amazing. Uh, we can see that the that the the dashboard is actually also very nice. It doesn't bother you at nighttime. Do you feel like the dashboard is jumping in your eyes? Yes, of course. So it's not. It doesn't bother you, right? Yeah. All right. That's that's really important. Um, anything else that you'd like to tell us about the car? That is it comfortable? How how smooth is the driving? Yes. It, it, yes, it's comfortable. Uh, especially when I when I want to rest, I can do massage on the seat. <laughs> you can do massage. That is awesome. And can you lay? How far is this from your head? I think you can put your head back. Yeah. Mm, oh yeah. wow! Look at that. How does that feel? Mm, comfortable. It feels comfortable, right? Yeah. And I like how the chair just like you see, guys. The chair wraps around you. It actually kind of holds you. Let's take a little bit. All right. The hair. The chair actually wraps around the sides. You can see how the chair wraps around here on the sides. That is actually quite remarkable. I really, really like. Uh, I really like how the chair, it sort of hugs you, but it doesn't suffocate you. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't like yeah. make you feel, oh, claustrophobic. I'm a pretty claustrophobic guy. I don't like to be in small spaces. I'm a big guy. So me as a big guy, we both fit in here quite comfortably. Yeah, you are a bigger guy. I'm not a bigger guy, but, but we both feel comfortable yeah. in the car. Yeah, I think that is that, I think that is great. For both of us to feel comfortable in the car, I think it's pretty, pretty... 
uh, pretty pretty fast. All right, we're gonna we're gonna see here in a second. This light is a little bit long. We're on the road. We're on the streets here in Louis Joe, guys. Remember to press the follow button at the top. Please remember, fall, press the follow button at the top. If you guys have any questions, if you guys have any inquiries, if you're a dealer that you would like to uh, get this car in your dealership, you can contact us directly. You don't have to do a middleman. You don't have to go through a separate uh, dealer. You can contact us directly right now and get this car in your dealership. Europe, we are certified for Europe. So I think that is pretty cool that Europe has already given us the go ahead for Dongfeng uh, uh, Fording for this electric vehicle. It's gonna be a hot buy on the market. I think it's gonna make quite a lot of waves inside the market, especially all of these different features. It is gonna be an amazing and an excellent car. So I think we're coming up here. We can see here, these are the, so this is a nice option. We can turn on and turn off. This is pretty cool. If you see, maybe you don't want the AC blowing too strongly, you can shut it off by turning to the right and the AC doesn't come out anymore. Or if you want it to go more or less, I think that's pretty cool. I like how this is. This also goes up and down, left and right. We can see all the way around. Now this compartment, this compartment, they're gonna add some more special features coming on here. Um, they're gonna be released soon and this has been prepared uh, for some extra features inside of the dashboard here, this little button over here. Uh, for now, it can be used for some very small storage uh, to put inside here. These are the hazard lights. As we can see, we press the hazard lights. The hazard lights do come on. Then we have here the temperature setting. Now, this is pretty cool about the temperature setting. We have cold, right? And look at the dash. Look at the dash on the dash. Automatically, it came up and hot. Now, let's say that uh, let's say that our, our, my driver likes it colder and I like it a little bit warmer, right? Uh, what we'll do is we'll be able to put this directly right there and I can adjust how I like it. Different temperatures. I think that's that's pretty quite, a, quite, quite an amazing option. On the right hand side, if you can see here on the right hand side, we can blast this. And it's actually, wow, that's pretty strong. Hey, I, want, I have something I want you to notice. Tell me. Uh, did you notice that the hand brake, it's, it's automatic. Oh, wow, yeah, let's press. Yeah. So he presses the brake now, yeah. strong, okay? And the handbrake, look, his foot is off the brake, the car is not going anywhere because he has the automatic handbrake turned on. When you press the brake hard, the car, even it's in neutral, it's still in drive. Look, the car is in drive, his foot is off the, you can move your foot, watch. You see, his foot is off, now he's pressing the accelerator. As soon as he pressed the accelerator, the car starts to go. So I think this is a pretty nice feature, especially if you don't want to sit there and hold the brake, if you don't want to sit there and, and have to put pressure on your foot. This is a great, great option here in this area. All right, here we go, guys. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Here we go, guys. Three, Three two, two, one, one go. Oh! Okay, slow down a little bit, slow down. Now I want to put, I want it to put in sports mode. Okay, guys, ready? Three. Go! Oh! Ah! Possibly, wow, that was unbelievable. It showed how much battery. Whoa, so fast! <laughs> I think we can do it one more time. Let's and do this one more time. Let's go! Whoa! <laughs> Really quite amazing. Woo! Especially when it's something like this Fording, uh, uh, this Fording uh, Friday. This Friday is, this, this Fording Friday car is actually quite amazing. I'm very, very excited to see this come on the market. I'm very excited to see it do well on the market. I want to, uh, Uh, overall, oh, she's got power, man. She can go. Oh. 
I think this is really, really great. Absolutely perfect. Like I think. So I think it's time. What do you think, Miss Chen? Do you think it's time we can tell them what the price of this car is? For a full 600 kilometers, it's 12 bucks. And a lot of other features that you can add on it, and it can rack up to about 44,000. If Yeah, I think it's very, I think it's a very, things inside of it. And you do get a lot of bang for its buck, which is uh, really important. Um, what kind of scenarios does the Friday SUV suits to drive so tell me tell me miss chen what kind of uh what kind of territories or scenarios can we drive in what kind of uh what kind of uh landscape what kind of landscape can we drive in like commuting traveling outdoor sports outdoor camping eliminate household electricity shortage we can drive this car on urban paved roads and congested roads etc Okay, why do you recommend individual customers to purchase it and why agents should import it? Why do you think we should do that? Um, I think the value, the value we're touching here. What the uh, concept of a car, I think that they've done a very, very good job. Uh, with this car, especially for the price. The price is, is, is quite amazing. 33000 for the car. I do recommend, remember agents, dealers, or even clients that you just want to buy directly from us. Um, you'll be able to get it as soon as the dealerships uh, launch it there. Clients, you can inquire about it. Uh, we can give you information. We can give you details. We can give you all the specifications. Dealers, we are looking for you. Dealers, we need you. Dealers, we are ready and we are certified to launch in Europe. We have the certification to launch in Europe, but we need to collaborate with dealerships. So dealerships, please do contact us. Please do write us. Remember guys, press the follow button at the top. In the bottom left-hand corner, go to the shopping bag and you can, you can look there to, uh, you can look at more of the specifications and also add details. Uh, please, please do contact us. Dealers, it is very, very important that you get a hold of us. We really need you in this point. We want to start, we want to launch this car in Europe first. And I think that's the most important place that we would start first is Europe. Um, <clears throat> all over Europe, dealerships, we are ready for you. Give us a call, start up, add, uh, press the inquiry. of the uh, front of the company you guys this is the main showroom are you excited miss chen yeah <laughs> good all right so we've arrived to the main show thank you very much my friend i you hope know, you enjoyed the journey yes it was very very much so tell me how did you like driving the car oh of course i like it especially in the sports mode in the sport mode right yeah it felt good actually i got the kick out of that a few times so that actually felt pretty good um Oh, oh, it's, it's.
of any anything wrong. Right, 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 right. I didn't see the car shaking. I didn't see anything. It is very, very strong. The grip was very yeah. strong. I saw that you have a good hold of the car. So, oh. but you are a professional driver. So, <laughs> thank you. No, no, not, not, not professional. Not <laughs> professional. Yeah. Thank you very much. Very good, very good. So let me ask you: Would you buy this car for yourself? Uh, of course. Be I honest. Will. Be honest. Yes, mm. you I, would, right? As well. Okay, mm. very good. Yeah, so this is a very, very nice buy. Like I said, it's got a very, very nice features inside of it. We can show this handle one more time, cameraman. It's got that hologram lion inside of the handle. This is actually pretty cool. I like how this hologram lion is right over here. And we are in park now, so it's in park. And then, can you hold the brake for me? You can hold the brake, press the brake, press keep the, the brake. Yeah. Okay, so we can see here, guys, now it's in neutral. If I go up, it's in reverse. If I go down two times, it's in drive. So it's very simple, it's just up and down, okay? And now if I want park, I just press park, and then it parks. So it's actually very, very simple, very easy to use. It's got the incline button mode right here. If you're going down on an incline, this is gonna help you to do the engine braking. This has an engine braking system um, installed inside of it. This is the auto, uh, this is the auto handbrake. handbrake, auto handbrake, and this is the manual handbrake over here. All these things come up on the dashboard when we press it. Um, good, this is actually very, very, these features are very, very nice. All of the options are going to be in English. Uh, you'll be able to access all of the information, uh, phone calls, music, GPS, anything like that, you'll be able to access uh, very easily from the dashboard. It is all touchscreen, as we can see here. Let's go, for example, to calls, right? So you have here Bluetooth. You have your phone book that can be installed in here. We have all these different options inside. Right now, it's in Chinese mode. Um, they are having it. They will have it in English mode as well. These are the different music videos. You can watch music videos on here. It does come. You can connect it to the... Uh, you'll have a local service provider, maybe Vodafone or whatever, whatever, whatever service provider that it will offer. Um, uh, that will be discussed. We can go here to the home button and uh, we can look at this here. All right, this is the radio. We got AM and FM radio, all the different options on the radio. We have over here, very good. These are the uh, different, a oh, this is the GPS, okay? So a nice size GPS, but the GPS is also there. The GPS I remember was also, which button was the GPS? I think it was this one. Yeah, there it goes. So the GPS is also there. Check this out, guys. You have GPS on both sides. GPS here and also GPS there. I think that's a pretty sweet feature. And this is was the incline, right? You can see that that turned on. It shows you. Sorry about that. It shows you that it turned on. So you can see that the auto brake uh, feature is activated there on that point. Um, you also have the different drive modes, eco, normal, and sport. The sport has a nice kick to it, I think. I think I'd like to drive this after this a little bit. After this, uh, after this shooting, I think it would be really nice. Um, you do have the start and stop button here. We're not going to press that right now. Um, and then you have all the different options with the nice and sleek steering wheel here at the top. So we see that all the options on this car are really quite remarkable. Um, I like the air system. The air system is nice, really easy to use. It gives you a lot of space here in the front. If I want to put some keys or put something inside of here, I think that's really nice. We can also press this. And this opens up the small storage unit on the center console over here, the center, uh, the center piece over here. You do have quite a lot of storage. So my whole hand fits in here. You guys can see half my hand fits inside of here. So I think that's pretty cool. Okay, they're queuing me. We got to go inside of the dealership. All right, guys, I mean inside of the showroom. Let's go take a look at the showroom, guys. All right. And Victor, we can see the emotional interactive. Wow, you guys, check it out. So at nighttime, we can see the Fording Friday Lion. Roar! There's the lion. You guys can see it's right underneath, right underneath the. So you have the camera over there, and you have this right over here. So this is pretty nice. Um, all right, it's very good. All right, so we can do it again. Can you turn it on again? Turn it on again. Turn on the car. It's turned on. All right, very good. Oh, so now it auto we can do this. And there we go. Check that out. All right, very cool. That is that is unique. Look at that. It goes with the door. You can go with the door. Oh, yeah, that's cool. 
and the lion is going with you. So this is cool. It lights up the ground. You can see anything if you dropped anything. It's, I think it's a nice touch to it. We can see that the light is here at the bottom. Okay, we have another, we have another uh, caller here live. How you doing? Can you hear me? How you doing? I'm doing great, man. Yes, please. Yeah. Okay, um, I started car launch, it's awesome. But I'm traveling a lot, like I, I like biking and camping, so I wonder about the trunk. Can you tell me something about it and maybe show me? Yeah, let's do the trunk. Uh, can you please unlock the car? Okay. All right, here we go. So we're gonna check out the trunk. I wanna show you guys, cameraman, can you, can you guys see us? Can you see me? Yeah. All right, good. So we do have the option here to open the trunk. It opens up quite easily, right? We can see over here. All right. Uh, oh, he pressed it from the inside. Okay. He, pre he pressed it from the inside to close. All right, very good. And we can see over here. Look at the trunk space, man. I mean, I'm, one, I'm 180. And look here, I still have space. I'm 180. And look, I still have space, okay? Now, I want to show you guys. So, I'm 180. My wind span is 180. So, uh, uh, it's... Sorry? Yes, I do fit inside the trunk. That's what I'm saying. I was telling the other caller before. It's actually very comfortable. I can stay back here and fall asleep back here. <laughs> so the trunk is pretty good. It can fit four full-size luggages inside of the back. So it does have quite a... I'm 180 and look, you can see him. The cameraman can show you. My legs, my legs are fully... Okay, not fully extended, but almost fully extended. Right? Just ask me if you did this whole thing again. Instead of filming it. Sorry? <laughs> Sure, sure, I can do it again. Let's do it again. Okay, no problem. You guys want to start from the beginning? No problem. All right, so look, check it out. I want you guys to see this also. For your moms or for your campers or whatever it is, if you have a lot of stuff in your hands, I'm a lazy guy. I don't like to always close the trunk. I just press the button, right? I mean, it's a pretty standard feature, but I think it's very important to have that on the car. I think it's especially, especially on all 2022 cars, I think it's extremely important to have the option. You do press it very simply over here. It opens pretty simply. We can look over here. Very good, it goes all the way. Like I said, again, I'm 180. So you guys can see the height is actually quite tall. It's actually very, very, the trunk space is actually quite big. And let's get my fat butt inside of this car. All right. <laughs> Remember, I'm 110 kgs. There we go. And I fit my feet. Oh, I fit them perfectly straight this time. Look, I'm down, all the way down. Right? It is. It is. It's pretty big. Compared to the old EV, the S50, I think they have outdone themselves. The Fording Friday, Dung Fung Fording Friday, they've done quite an awesome job on this car. This Friday car is actually quite amazing. It's going to make a huge splash on the European market. Uh, dealerships, we are ready to collaborate. Uh, private dealers, public dealers, we are ready to collaborate. China has, uh, uh, sorry, Dongfeng has already the certification for uh, to sell in Europe. We just need to collaborate with dealerships. So dealerships and private sellers, please give us a call. Um, you can contact us directly. You don't need a middleman. You can go ahead on our page right now at the bottom, on the bottom right, on the bottom left-hand side, press the inquiry button, chat with us, send some information and our customer service will get in contact with you and get you started on the paperwork, the process to start getting our cars into your dealership. Be the first ones to offer it. I think this will be a great car. Germany will have a nice time with this. For 33,000, guys, 33,000 for a fully electric vehicle. I mean, it's 33,000, but still, if you think about it, it's only $12 for every 600 kilometers. That is quite amazing. 12 bucks for a full charge for 600 kilometers. You can't beat it. <laughs> okay, one last time. One last time. I'm not going to do... This is the last time. I'm not doing it again, okay? Do you know how hard it is for a 110 kilogram guy, 180 meters, 1.8 meters tall to get into this car? But since you got curly hair, since you got curly hair, I'll accept it.
Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. You can ask the question and we'll take it from the top one more time. Go ahead. Sure, no problem. So I'm 1.8 meters tall and I'm 110 kilograms. Don't tell my wife she thinks I'm 100 and then she's going to put me on a diet. So it's not okay. All right. So I'm going to show you guys 100, 100, 180, 1.8 meters tall and I'm 110 kilos. We're going to press the button here. Cameraman, can we show this over here? All right. We press the button. It goes up nicely, nice and smoothly all the way to the top here. Very good. This is the full length. This again, remember, I'm 1.8 meters, right? Look how much space. I got half of a paw, half of my hand. I got pretty big hands. I got half a hand until I touch. So for camping, this is great. This is remarkable. I like, when I was younger, we used to go camping and we used to use the trunk as like our table, the trunk as like our spot. You know what I mean? You set everything up, you eat here, and that, I, I love that kind of stuff. So for me, I totally understand about the camping. Now, I'm gonna do you guys a favor. I'm gonna get my fat butt inside of this thing. And I'm gonna show you guys how big it is, all right? We're gonna go over here. Remember, I'm 1.8 meters, so 1.8 meter guy, my feet are fully flexed, right? I'm fully flexed all the way down, and I'm touching, I'm just touching my feet to the back. So if I go like this, the car, it's, it's right there, right? So I think that's, I think that's awesome. I want to show you one more feature that I haven't shown you yet, and this feature is about the trunk as well. Let me make sure I don't break my legs getting out, all right? That was actually pretty easy. Um... We have here the tarp. This is the back tarp, and the back tarp comes in here like this, and there we go. So if you guys have kids like I do, and your kids are throwing toys, you don't have to worry about the toys, things getting back over here. Um, I really like the tarp. The tarp is really, really nice. It's actually quite sturdy. We can see it's quite strong, right? It's not flimsy. I'm pulling the crap out of it, and it's actually very, very strong. The material is very nice. The stitching is very nice. It's not cheap stitching. It's not cheap material. We can see that it's very, very strong, right? It's not working. I'm pulling out. I'm pulling out like crazy. Okay, and we can see it will go automatically right back. So trunk space, it's huge. You, got, you can fit four full full-size luggages inside of here, right? Or if you had, you could put two golden retrievers. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Yeah, take care, you guys. Thank you for the questions. I want to show you guys the showroom of Dumfang um, Fording. We're going to go inside the showroom, show you guys a little bit about the history of the car. If you want to find out more about uh, uh, the Friday, uh, this car, Friday, don't find for the Friday. You can go ahead and press follow us. You can go ahead and go to the bottom left hand side, uh, press the inquiry button, send us a chat. Dealers, we're looking for you guys, especially in Europe. We are green to go to sell in Europe, but we need to collaborate with dealerships. So I think this is one of the main things we wanted to get across on this live. It's not only the price, 33,000. 12 bucks for a full uh, charge, 45 minutes for a full charge. This is a great traveling vehicle, uh, great price, great value. Um, I think it will be a great, great, uh, a great new car to be able to launch in Europe first. We want to launch in Europe. So we have the green lights uh, from the European Union to be able to launch in Europe. So go ahead, dealers. Please do call us. We're waiting for you guys. We want to collaborate. We want to set up deals and get this car out on the road. It is quite a value. All right. Thank you guys very much. Come on. The rest of you guys can follow me. Take care, you guys. God bless you. Take care. My pleasure. My pleasure. Anytime you want me to jump in the trunk, just let me know. <laughs> I'm from Detroit, so that can mean a lot. <laughs> All right. We're going to go over here. So, you guys, this is a quite amazing campus, right? I hear that you guys have how many acres? 5,000? Yeah, 5,180 acres. 5,180 acres. That's 3.45 million square meters. It's huge, okay? It's very, very big. Um, so I don't know how you guys do things there, but here you have to scan some codes. You have to go in to be able to get inside here. It's quite interesting. For those of you that are in America, those of you that are in Europe, it's quite interesting because you scan some things to get in. We can go ahead and come in. And we can see here Dong Fang Fording Museum. <laughs> it's like a museum. It's huge. 
This place is really, really big. It's actually quite, quite sizable, right? Yeah. This is a nice place to greet, uh, greet people when they come in. So I say, I think this is quite amazing. I really, really like the concept that they have going on here. Yeah. Cameraman, if you can show them the concept around, uh, around the back over here, I think this is a great, huge screen over here. This is more about the history of Dongfeng Fording, Dongfeng Fording, Dongfeng Fording, and um, about the concept where it started off. So originally, I heard that they were, uh, what was their first product? They launched in 1954, I know that much. Launched in 1954, but what was their first product? Yeah, let's check the history of our company together. Great, so they also make a lot of uh, very huge commercial vehicles. Right? Yeah. And I think that's one of their main things is they did commercial vehicles first um, and then they evolved more and more. So it's pretty interesting over here. Let's go check out, check out some of these things over here. So they started in 1954. Miss, Miss Chen, please tell us a little bit about this history. What is going on? Yes, our company was founded in 1954. And um, at that time, we just produced agriculture equipment because our country was uh, an agriculture country at that time. And then we can see uh, over here, in 1969, we successfully developed the first vehicle uh, called Fei Yue. Wow, so actually this was very important. They were pioneers in this. They developed one of the first vehicles that were used in armies. You can see that the soldiers were using it. They were transport vehicles. Uh, so again, they started off in agriculture. Agriculture went really, really well. Then they started in 1969 to produce these uh, military vehicles. And they became quite a hit. They were pioneers. Like I said, Taufik Fordy has been around for over 50 years. So they're very, 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 very strong in the market. They're very reliable in the market. And people know them for their durability. People know them for their quality. And people... Uh, people have been buying their vehicles for quite a long time. What is this, the LZ-130? Yeah, LZ just stands for our city's name, Liu Zhou. Liu Zhou. We are in Liu Zhou now. You guys got to yeah. come here. Food's amazing. Um, all right, cool. So uh, the Liu Zhou 130 was, was over here first. Okay, let's continue on. What was next? Let's see. In 1981, we produced the first diesel truck. Wow, so pictures. this is the first, this is a picture of the lots of the factory producing the first diesel trucks here. So this was in 1981. Um, they were one of the most reliable brands in, that you could buy here, and they did quite a good job. I see they have some government contracts over there. Um, they had government contracts from before, so we see that they had a very good collaboration with them. Let's continue on to 1991. What happened in 1991? In 1991, our annual production capacity just break through 10,000. Wow, so the annual capacity broke through 10,000 in 1991. Now that doesn't sound like a lot, but for 1991, it was a lot, right? Wow. Uh, they were producing, they, they were the pioneers, they were the top of the industry, especially here in China. They're, they were just starting off with the vehicles, especially on this massive scale. So we can see that they had how many, what type of vehicles did they have? Yeah, uh, so look, this is our commercial vehicle brand called Chenlong. So in 1991, our brand Chenlong uh, was born. All right, very cool. And how about this over here? What's this about? This is actually, uh, let me see, a passenger vehicle. Okay, we, so... We just call it Baoma. Baoma. So yeah. this is one of the first passenger vehicles that were over here that were starting off. You can see that people were lining up to see these vehicles. When they first came out, then they started an annual, uh, an annual... 30,000. Yeah, they were producing 30,000 per year. So actually, this was, uh, this was pretty big because at, at this time, there wasn't that many vehicles out there. So for them to produce 30,000 a year, this was actually quite a lot. Um, it might not sound like a lot, but it really is a lot. Uh, from 1991 to 1998, they've, this was in 1991. All right, guys, so this is, what, 21 years ago. Uh, 20? Well, 31, sorry, 31 years ago. My math, I'm a little tired. All right, 31 years ago, we can see here. Okay, let's continue on. Let's go on to the next. What happened then? Oh, so let's look over here, all right? This is actually pretty interesting. For anybody that's not from here, and actually, my, my, I live in Guangzhou. So for me, this is quite interesting to find out some things about Luizhou. Um, this is Luizhou Old Town over here, and this is the company headquarters. All right, and they have quite a few 
throughout Luizhou, they have quite a few centers. They have the Luizhou passenger vehicle plant, which is here in the northeast of uh, Luizhou. Then they have the Luizhou commercial vehicle plant, which is still in the northeast of Luizhou. Then we have the company headquarters, which is exactly in the center of Luizhou. And then we have the former commercial vehicle plant, which is the southwest and southwest with the former passenger plant. Which one are we in now? Where are we here now? We are at here. Liu okay. Dong passenger so, vehicle park. So we're at the Louis Dong plant. passenger vehicle car, passenger vehicle plants. I'm going to show you some more things about this plant. It's actually quite amazing. Let's continue on. What happened next? So 1999 comes around, guys. 1999. The millennium is coming out here. We can see that in 1999, uh, our company just developed the first light, uh, the first multi-purpose vehicle. So the first multi-purpose vehicle is here. As we can see here, they started to do quite a lot. This is the plant here. They have quite a nice production line. They're doing pretty well. They have a lot of government contracts. They have the small compact vehicles. They were offering larger compact vehicles, yeah, larger truck. vehicles, trucks. These are vans, right? Yeah. Okay, so they were offering the vans here. They were offering the small compact vehicles. This is a really big step for, for Dunfin Ford thing. For them to have a fully electric SUV, this is a milestone. I'm very honored to be able to present the Ford, Ford thing, uh, uh, SUV Friday because this is the first of its kind. This is something new that this company is doing. They are coming, they are staying strong with the trend. They want to continue to produce these type of electric vehicles and I think this is a very big step for them and I'm honored to be able to be part of it. Uh, let's go ahead and look, 2010, what happened? 2010, our annual production just break through 10, let me see. 100,000. Uh, 100,000. So this is called Shuan. In Chinese, it's a Shuan. Shuan means yeah. 100,000, right? So they started making, in 2010, they are making 100,000 vehicles per year. I think it's a big step from the 10,000, 5,000 they were making before when they started to 100,000 vehicles. We can see here the multiple different kinds of vehicles that they have. They have full-size SUVs, medium-size SUVs, full-size full trucks, some of the most nicest T5 SUVs vehicle. here. Sorry? T5. T5, what is it called? The T5, right? Yeah. This is the T5 SUV. This is a 3.0 vehicle that the Dunfin Forthing uh, offers. So they did quite a good job. Let's go ahead and look over here. So tell me more about the philanthropy of uh, Dorfman Forthing. Have they done anything to help the community? Have they done anything to help the government? Tell me a little bit about this. Uh, cameraman, we can also show over here some of the different aspects. Go ahead and tell us, Ms. Chen. Yes, uh, because our president, she just focused on the uh, to create an eco-friendly environment. So our company also uh, want to uh, just uh, put our efforts into it. So right. we just uh, try to uh, develop the pure electric car. So, okay. So this is the car uh, we are introducing today, the Friday. So it's the first pure uh, electric, electric car. car. Yeah. Tell me, how many vehicles does uh, Dongfen Forthing donate to the government? How many vehicles do they donate? So because of the COVID-19, right. uh, our company just donated over 600 ambulances to uh, different cities. Right, so they have actually built and donated over 600 yes. uh, um, ambulances. I think that's a great cause. I think they did a very good job at supporting China, at supporting people during the epidemic, at trying to help and support these. They support all the costs for these vehicles. I think that is very, very kind of them to do. So they do have a lot of philanthropy that they are doing. Um, I think this is just one of the things. I also think they have a lot of events that happen that they do pro bono. And um, it's really, really important that, uh, that companies take note of this and companies also follow this idea. I think that's really, really important. I want to go ahead and take a look at the three. Oh, we have some models here. Uh, these are some awards that they have. Can you tell us a little bit about some of these awards by any chance? That is uh, all the awards that we won for our... Um, maybe creativity and our donations. So. Wow, so they've got uh, a lot of certifications, yeah, awards. Certifications. Uh, these are all the certifications, different awards that they have. Um, it's a pity I don't really understand everything that's written on it, but I know that it's very important. Yeah. And I know that they have done a lot of work to be able to achieve this. So um, I do want to congratulate Dunfin Fording for the hard work that they've put in for the over 50 years that they have been on the market. So it's that 50 
It's almost 70 years, guys, 68 years they've been on the market, so that's quite a long time. Um, I wanna take a look at the 3D model, if you guys wanna come over here. So, all of this here is this plants where they are producing the electric vehicle, right? We are all, all of this is this plants. And please, Ms. Chen, can you please show me, can you please show me where are we? Oh, there we are. Cameraman, if we can see. So from all of this, 5,108 acre plant. Remember, there are one, two, three, four, five, five plants. From all of these plants, uh, 5,180 acres. How many staff, how many people are in the staff here? We have 5,700 staff. 5,700 people working in this factory, guys. Yeah. So they have a small army working here. <laughs> I was actually, I had the, I had the pleasure. Miss Chen took me to dinner here on the, on the second floor. Dinner was amazing. It had very nice food. The staff looked very healthy. The staff looked very happy. Um, I was, they actually were very welcoming to me. A lot of them smiled. A lot of them said hello. Um, they weren't as uh, afraid of foreigners. So I think that was very kind of them. We can see here when we light up the entire campus. So what we did is we drove around here. We drove around here, we went around, and we went around there on that side. So I think it was pretty interesting that we were able to catch some speed, come back around, and go back to the factory. I think it was very nice today. We got to do a live, we got to do a live drive-by. We got to test the different features. We got to see the different options. I got to jump in the trunk 50 million times. <laughs> so I think it was very, very cool. Um, Hope you enjoy the live show. Yeah, so uh, they have transformed into a tech-oriented company, right? They yeah. started from agriculture, but now they are focusing on tech. They are yeah. focusing on promoting and developing new energy, connected vehicles, and carrying out technological research and industrialization exploration, such as, guys, intelligent driving, self-driving cars. That is the next step. The next step for them is to implement the self-driving feature. And I think this is an awesome, awesome feature. I think that other companies are also working on this, but I think Dongfeng is actually one of, uh, on the top of the list to develop this amazing, amazing feature. And I want to take a look. I also want to, uh, I also want to remind you, so it has a 100,000 capacity commercial yeah. vehicle. And how many passenger vehicles are they making now? 400. 400. <laughs> Um, 400,000 400, annual passenger vehicle yeah. production. Mm. That is quite a lot, guys. Half a million cars that they're producing. Um, they're doing a good job at it. It's very good quality. Uh, it has a lot of great features on it. It's affordable. I think that's really important. It's, it, it has to be affordable. Mm. Um, and I think it's great that it's affordable. It's one of the most important things, I think, to be affordable as a car. Okay, I want us to go ahead and take a look we still have another part of the showroom. Come on with us, cameraman. Let's go see and check out this other part of the showroom. So this is this was the 3D model that we have here, and Miss Cheng is going to present to you and show you. And I think the I think the viewers really want to see this, and the viewers really want to check this out. If we can also please see over here. All right, very good. Can you please present to us the type of vehicles that we have here? Yes, so here are three uh, cars on show, on display. So this green one is our T5 Evo. T5 Evo, cameraman, yeah. let's take a look at this amazing, amazing front, T5 Evo. I think this green is so, so beautiful. Yeah, this green is, yeah. I love this green color. This like green metallic color. What, do you know the specific name of this? Uh, Oh yeah, this Golf is the thing T5 Evo. T5 Evo. Yeah. What is it called? Golf uh Dofeng, Dofeng yeah. four thing. Dofeng four thing. T5 Dofeng. Evo. That's the T5 Evo, guys. In the bottom, you can press catalog. You can find out all of the different specifications of the T5 Evo. Let's see if we can Come on over here. The T5 Evo has got just re Look at those tires. Those tires are just amazing, guys. These are 22, right? So <laughs> they are very big. Very big tires. We can see over here in the back, they have like a speeding spoiler. This is pretty cool. I like this. Don't find forwarding T5 Sporting. Evo. This is a nice little spoiler on the back. Yeah. The spoiler will help it on high speeds. It's got a nice sports look. It's got the quad exhaust over here in the, in the back. It's got one, two, three, four. Look at this, quad exhaust in the back. It's got this huge, this nice lining 
over here. I like this. This is really cool. I like how this how this uh, this wing just did this. This fender part over here. That did it nice. Uh, as we can see over here, it's got the gas tank. Um, also see sports seat. Yeah, this is the, again. They have the sports yeah. seat. I mean, the sports seats are just amazing on these. I like that little storage Super. spot underneath. You see that storage spot at the bottom over there? Yeah, that little hole right there. You can go and zoom in there. That's a nice little storage spot to put stuff inside. Mm -hmm. So there's no extra, there's no wasted space. You can use this space to, uh, to access different things. It's actually pretty cool. So we can also see it has the lights underneath. It's got the mirror. This is the, the camera option so you can see all over the car. It's actually a really, really nice slick design. It's, it's pretty wide. It's pretty big. I gotta say. Tell us about this one. What is this one over here? This yellow one is called Heat Wave. Heat Wave! Yeah. And it's a co branded <coughs> uh, vehicle with the Caesar 7. Wow, the Heat Wave does look amazing. Look at that. Heat Wave has a very nice, slick look to it. We can see the side over here has a nice bumper on the bottom. We and also see the sides. Look at this. This is really cool yeah, on the side. Heat Wave. And we just named this color Heat Wave Yellow. This is called Heat Wave Yellow, guys. Yeah. So we can see the back. The back looks pretty nice. Oh, it's locked over here, okay. We have the quad exhaust system here as well. It's a little bit different than the green one, than the T5 uh, Evo. Mm -hmm. So this is the e T5 Heat Wave. Yeah. This is actually pretty cool. I like this one. Also, the gas tank opens here. Also the interior. Wow, this is more luxury. Leather. Look at the luxury leather. Oh, and it's got the new car smell. That is really nice. I like that. I like the dash. I like how this looks. These are, you can find this car in the catalog, guys. At the bottom, in the center of the screen, you do have the catalog. So I think you guys can check it out there. Um, you're going to love the catalog there. You can see all the different options, the different cars that are available. You'll be able to check them out. We really got an amazing vehicle here, okay? And now this is more of a family type of vehicle. I think this is really, really cool. Let me, I like this. This is cool. This has got a Spider-Man feel to it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Look at the front of that. That front is, that girl is like, you know soccer moms? This is like an ultimate cool soccer mom, you know? I wish my mom had this car when she was picking me up at my soccer games and she would show up with, look at this girl. This girl looks furious. That is quite amazing. It is, that is really, really beautiful. Look how, look how this girl is. Look how big it is. Imagine your mom pulling up to you to pick you up from your soccer game, and you're, she's driving this. I think she's scared the living crap out of all the other little kids. That looks really, really mean. Look how nice. Look at the detail on this. The detail on this is very nice. It's got the camera in the front. We can see the camera over here. You guys can see the camera over here on this part. We can see the detailing here on this. This is actually quite amazing as well. I really, really like this. We can see the details inside of these. Wow, that is really, really nice. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Oh, really quite beautiful. I really like that. Very, very cool. And we can see over here, it's got the LED lights, the LED lights, and then it also has this nice compartment over here uh, for light. This is really, I think it also comes with some uh, other type of lights. Let's, let's take a look more at the car. We can see here, Fording. These are the sensors here on the fender. The fender has the sensors. The fender is very strong. There we go. We also have the, the valet parking key so you can access it. Let's take a look. Oh! Luxury. So much luxury. Look at that, you guys. That, I look at the dash. It's just so beautiful. Look how beautiful that is. This is the ultimate soccer mom car. You also have the massage in the chairs. You guys can massage the chairs. Actually, it matches my shirt. You also have the automatic seats. The seats hug around. Oh, that smell is, I love that new car smell. Can I, I wish I had that with me. You can take it in a perfume bottle. This is too nice. This new car smells really nice. And it also has a nice, look at the detailing over here on the handle. The details are very, very interesting. I really, really enjoy to see how that looks. I like to see how the sound, the speaker system has been installed in here and also at the bottom. You also have the airbag. This is, this is real leather, guys. Here it's real leather. This is very, very nice. The stitching is very nice. The feel is very smooth. 
You can store things. This is a small little storage unit. You can take this piece out, so for cleaning, right? You can put it in for detailing if you want to detail your car. This has a nice leather touch to it, and this has a very nice wood grain texture. This is a very, very cool wood grain texture here on the side. I really, really like this vehicle. It looks like something that is very special. All right, let's take a look at the back seat. I think the back seat for this one, this is the coolest part. So, cameraman, can we go ahead and show them inside? This is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven seater car, you guys. Seven seater car offered by Dolphin Ford. Then we can see here the ultimate luxury of, of these headrests with the Lion logo on top of it. This is, oh, this feels so nice. This also has, let's show them. This also has the cooling and heating. This is heating, this is cooling. In the winter time, it's very nice. You can heat it. In the summertime, it's very nice, it can cool. It also has some, oh, look at that. That is cool. You guys see that? You can put things, your cup, you can store, you can eat something there. I think that is really, really remarkable what it can do. And then you can just store it back. Oh, that is really easy. That is so simple. I love these headrests. These headrests really are something else. Um, these chairs also, they go, I think I can put it like this. Okay. Oh, this does. All right, I think it needs the automatic feature, so we don't have the keys for it right now, but it's, it's got an amazing, amazing options outside of it here. Oh, oh, this did it so this chair can come out. I don't understand. Okay, so the chair can come out, but you can take out this chair as well. I think that's really, really cool. It's got some amazing, the back of it is really nice. You see the Dolphin Ford thing here. This is called, what is this called? U-Tour. U-Tour 600, you guys. Yes. This is called the u Tour 600. Look at the light details on this car. I think the lighting details are quite amazing on this car. This is the ultimate soccer mom car. It has a it's seven seater. So I think that's really, really important. We can see the nice slick design on the sides. If you guys can see the nice slick designs on the sides, I think that is really, really cool as well. We can see here this nice design. We can open up here. I think this looks really, really nice and sharp. This is really, really quite something. Really, really good quality. Amazing, strong material. It just feels so smooth. It is real leather, nice wood grain here. This is, this is something that really, really I wish my mom had when, I, when she was coming to pick me up from our soccer games. I think it's really cool. And we can also see the front of the car. This is quite, quite something. It's got the storage in the front. You can see the storage in the front there. The storage is a lot of storage space actually. So I think, that's, uh, I think that's also very, very important. All right, so we can go ahead and go over here. All right, cameraman, you can go ahead and follow me. These are some of the vehicles that they have prepared over time. So I think these are very, very nice and unique and amazing vehicles. We do want to send a message for all potential agents. Ms. Chen, come over here as we prepare to say goodbye. We want to send a message to all potential agents. You guys, pay attention. You can contact us directly. Become a dealer. Europe, we are certified to sell in Europe. We are ready to sell. We need you as dealers. So we are making an announcement. Don't think Forwarding has produced so many great cars, passenger cars, commercial cars. They have also pioneered in many areas. They want to sell to Southeast Asia, South America, Middle East, Africa, and of course, in Europe. So Europe is one of the most ones uh, that will be a trustworthy supplier. Um, Really, really, if you want to be an agent, don't hesitate. Contact us now. It's very important that you contact us. It's very important that we make an agreement and we start pushing out the cars. Dong Feng Forthing has, uh, Dong Feng Forthing has, uh, has pushed me and has, uh, has implored me to invite you to make a collaboration with us. Dealers, dealerships, let's start collaborating. Let's get these vehicles out on the road. They have so many certifications. They have all the proper necessary documentation. We just need your help as the outlet. Um, thank you all for viewing our live show. It's been very, very amazing. Um, remember, guys, to press the follow button at the top. If you want to find out more about Dunfeng Furthing, uh, 
online. You can just press the follow button on the top. And I want to make sure that you guys do follow us. You guys do press the inquiry button at the bottom. Check out the shopping bag. Don't forget the newest SUV. It's out. Fully electric SUV. An amazing car. It's quite remarkable. I'm loving it. We got to test drive it today. We got to see so many nice things about this car. This car actually really impressed me today. It's speed. It's value. It's called the Friday, right? Who doesn't like Fridays? Do you like Fridays? Yeah, of course. Fridays are the best, right? We don't have to go to work anymore. Fridays are always awesome. It's the end of the week. That's it. It's done. So we want that. Our, we want our clients, and we also want our customers, anybody driving this car, to feel that Friday feeling. We want them to feel free in this car. We want them to feel like it's. It's. Really, what is your favorite feature about it, Miss Chen? I think the roof. The roof. Did you guys yes. see that roof? That roof was amazing. I think that roof was. How, what, what do you think? Tell me more about it. What do you think about the roof? Describe the roof for those people that missed yeah, it's it. It's shiny and it just made me feel that I'm the queen of the car. <laughs> <laughs> so when, when you were inside of the car, it does give you that luxury, even though it's a sports package car, right? Yeah. So it does have a lot of speed and it did push me back in my seat a few times. Even though it's a sports package car, I think it was very, very interesting to see the delicacies of it. I think that it had some nice, the, the stars at the top just felt so nice. I think that was really, really interesting uh, to see. I really do like the steering wheel. As a man, I like the space. I'm a, I'm a big guy. And uh, if I don't have space, I feel claustrophobic and I just don't feel comfortable, right? And I think there's a lot of guys like that out there. I know a lot of my friends that are bigger guys like me, they want to be able to have their space. So in the front, we were able to have space between two people. It was very, very strong to have this space. So uh, it was very easy to fit into that. And then the trunk, huh, the trunk space was absolutely amazing, yeah. right? Trunk space was great. All right, we want to make sure that we do remind you one more time, press the follow button at the top. Tell your friends about it. Check out this new car. I think you guys should, if this is really big for Dunfeng Furthing uh, uh, Company. As we launch it to the European market, I think there are many great things to see. As the AI technology is gonna start coming in, the self-driving vehicle, the self-driving options are gonna start coming in. I think this is a company you guys should keep watching. You guys should keep looking and seeing what else Dunfeng is gonna come out with in the future. Um, we do want to remind you that on September the 23rd, you guys, September the 23rd at 7 o'clock UTC time, all right? At 7 o'clock UTC time, September the 23rd, we are going to have another live. Oh, so I'm coming back PM. to Boijo. <laughs> yes, I will be back, you guys. We will be able to discuss a little bit more um, about the event. So this event is called the Luijo River Snail Rice Noodle Party. All right, very cool. It's uh, offered by the uh, Friday SUV is going to be the first, the star of the show again. So the Friday SUV is going to be the star. Another great opportunity to know more about the Dunfin Fording Friday SUV. We want you to stay tuned, stay curious. We appreciate you guys watching us. Ms. Cheng, thank you very much for being such a lovely co-host. Yeah, thank, thank you so Thank you for much. helping. Um, God bless you guys. Take care. Good to see you guys. I hope to see you guys next time. Thank you for all the questions. Remember to press the follow button. Remember at the bottom of the screen to press, uh, to check out the shopping cart. Uh, send us any inquiries. Dealers, we're waiting for you. See you guys September 23rd at 7 o'clock p.m. Take care, guys.